welcome to fourth grade, Captain Ryan, lesson six. We're going to go ahead and get started with number two. So for these, you can see that they're just adding something in the hundreds place and something in the tenths place, okay? Well, in order to add or subtract fractions, you have to have a common denominator, okay? So since this is a 10, we can just add a zero and then add a zero to the top number and we're fine, okay? It's just like multiplying it by 10, okay? So now we have 17 plus 60, and our denominator is going to stay the same. If I add the 10 to 60, I get 70, and then add 7, I get 77. So 77 over 100. Okay? So let's do that again on the next one, okay? We're going to add a 0, add a 0. Now the denominators are the same. Okay? So now 9 plus 90 is 99, and we're going to put that over our 100. Common denominator stays the same. Okay? Again, 0, 0. Well, 70 plus 23 is going to be 93, and we're going to keep our denominator. Okay? All right. I'm going to show you guys how to do one of these, and then we're going to do the same thing, okay? So, we're going to add. Okay? So, straight down, 8 plus 0 is 8, 4 plus 3 is 7, drop our decimal, so 0 0.78. You're literally adding them up, guys. That's all you're doing. Line up your decimal and add up your numbers, okay? That's it. Don't forget to put a dollar sign in front of these. They all have dollar signs, okay? All right, so we're going to go down to number eight, and it says Ned's frog jumped 3,800 seven, 3, meters, sorry. Then his frog jumped four tenths of a meter. How far did Ned's frog jump? So they're just saying 38 over 100 plus 4 over 10. Well, we're going to do the same thing that we did up here, and we're going to add a 0 to this and add a 0 to this. So now... 38 plus 40 is 78, and we're going to keep our denominator. So, 78 hundredths, and that's being measured in meters. Okay? All right. Kiko walks 5 tenths of a kilometer from school to the park. She walks 19 one hundredths kilometers from the park to her home. How far does Kiko walk? Well, so we have 5 tenths that we're going to turn into 50 hundredths plus 19 hundredths. Okay, well, that's 69 hundredths. So, 69 hundredths kilometers. Okay? All right, we are going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. We're going to go down to the spiral review, guys, okay? So, Philip saves $8 each month. How many months will it take him to save at least $60? Well, 8 times 7 is 56. So we're going to have to add on and do 8 times 8 is 64. Well, this is the first month that it's $60 or more. So 8 months. Okay. All right, Ursula and me share a submarine sandwich. Ursula eats two ways of the sandwich. He eats three eighths of the sandwich. How much of the sandwich do the two friends eat? Well, two eighths plus three eighths. Well, we keep our denominator, and two plus three is five. So five eighths of the sandwich. All right. A carpenter has a board that is eight feet long. He cuts off two pieces. One piece is three and a half feet long, and the other is two and a third feet long. How much of the board is left? Well, first, we're going to find out. I'm going to use scrap paper for this one. We're going to find out how much he cut off, okay? So two and one third, and we're going to add to that three and a half, okay? Well, in order for us to be able to... Add or subtract fractions, we need a common denominator. So I'm going to take my two whole numbers and I'm going to put those over here. Okay. 
then I'm just gonna deal with my fraction, okay? Well, in order for us to get the same denominator, we had to multiply the three by two to get six. So I'm gonna multiply the top by two, so I'm gonna get two six. Plus, in order for the two to get to six, I had to multiply it by three. So I'm gonna multiply the top by three and get three six. So now I keep my denominator and two plus three is five. So I'm gonna add these up, so five, and then I'm gonna put my fraction with it, five six, okay? So now I'm gonna take that eight feet, okay? And I'm gonna subtract five, and five six. Well, you'll notice that that eight does not have a fraction. So I'm gonna borrow one, making it a seven, and I'm gonna put a six over six. Now I'm gonna use six over six because that's what my denominator here is. So I can now just subtract, okay? So now seven minus five is two, six minus five is one, and I keep my denominator. So two and one six, Okay, make sure that y'all write down your work. Okay, even if you guys do, um, you know, just this part of it, okay, write it down. It's important. You're not going to get credit without it. Okay, Jeff, Jeff drinks two thirds of a glass of juice. Write a fraction that's equivalent to two thirds. Well, two thirds, if we multiplied the top and the bottom by two, we would get four six. If we multiplied that by three, we would get six ninths. If we multiplied it by four, we would get eight twelfths. So any of those, you can keep going. You can multiply it by five, you can multiply it by 20 for all I care, okay? It is just, you just have to do the same to the top and the bottom, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 9.6. Come on back for 9.7, see you soon.